Next on reports, a child trafficking is a serious crime that involves the illegal trade of children for various exploitative purposes. This can include forced labor, sexual exploitation, child soldiers, or even organ trafficking. It often involves the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of children through force, fraud, or coercion. The problems associated with child trafficking in Nigeria include educational deprivation, physical, psychological, behavioral, and health problems. Fid Oladimeji has more to say about this. A serious crime that involves the illegal trade of children for various exploitative purposes is child trafficking. This can include forced labor, sexual exploitation, child soldier, or even organ trafficking. It often involves the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of children through false fraud or coercion. Traffickers exploit Nigerian victims in sex trafficking and forced labor, primarily domestic servitude throughout West and Central Africa, including Cabo Verde, Cote d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Mali, and Senegal. To a lesser extent, East and Southern Africa. As reported over the past five years, human traffickers exploit domestic and foreign victims in Nigeria, and traffickers exploit victims from Nigeria abroad. Child trafficking, the, the little way I can explain it, I think it means a process whereby people take uh, this uh, child or children, as the case may be, maybe from one place to another end for the purpose of trading them, for marketing purpose. Child trafficking is a human rights violation, particularly of children. Child trafficking, mm, child trafficking. when we talk about child it is an illegal migration or illegal migration of children, underaged, from one country or from one place, from one town to the other, with the aim of providing or giving them good job. From my own uh, perspective, a child, child uh, tra trafficking is, uh, I, can, I can call this an abuse of child. The way people abuse child, they will just take them maybe outside their jurisdiction to another place, then uh, to use them in an illegal way. And child trafficking means that is a way of uh, maybe, uh, uh, is a way of selling children in, in, in not in their own interest. That is, you just make sure uh, you impose child onto danger due to poverty or due to lack of taking care of them. The main causes of child trafficking are classified into two mainly. Demand for child and adult labor, sexual exploitation. The problems associated with child trafficking in Nigeria include educational deprivation, physical, psychological behavior and health problem. One, I can say that one of the factors leading to that is uh, poverty on the side of the child itself. The populace should be educated. You know, they should be aware of, you know, the effect of child trafficking. Because when you traffic a child, to affect that child's self-esteem. The child will grow up to have a low self-esteem. The major factor is poverty, yeah? poverty. Then apart from that, we have the peer group influence. In a society, well, I will say it's part of corruption. Not only this, and also the parents also have their own problem about it. They allow their children to be free know to take decision or they are unable to take care of their children. The factors contributing to uh, child trafficking that the uh, you can talk about the uh, uh, lack of money, poverty. Human trafficking continues to pose a serious threat to our advancement, economic growth and human capital. By stealing our youth admission, it depletes our country's very potential. The sources of human trafficking which frequently flourishes in the shadow and silence of many and grows as a result of the three branches of government. What I think the government should do 
is to sensitize people to create enlightenment uh, avenue through which people will know that child trafficking is bad. The government should you know, lay down policies and ensure that it has been implemented. Um, NGOs should also you know, be involved in this. Government, at least the government has to put certain things in place, which they have done. I will not say they have not done it. Well, uh, number one, I believe, I think it's better for government if they can go around the schools to speak to the students in the schools. The, the area government can help is to provide job, good job. When there is good job, then the area where government can help is that to make sure that the future, they should look into the future of the children. Child trafficking must be viewed within the wider contextual factor which makes children vulnerable to heat and which enables or benefits traffickers. Primarily preventing child trafficking requires addressing and responding to the factors that make children vulnerable around the world, including poverty, inequality and conflict. It also requires alighting government policies that exacerbate vulnerability and prevent children getting the support they need. Fate Oladimeji reporting for Kaftan TV News.